Hello, you guys. So I am here without makeup or anything. Hope you don't mind my sleepy face. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to create, um, help you guys create your Weebly account. So first you need an email. If you don't have an email, I'm going to teach you how to create an email really quickly here. Uh, you can always skip this part if you already have an email that you use. So I went to Google and I'm going to sign in and create an account. So create an account. I'm going to have to find this. Create an account for myself. And I'm going to put here my name. And my username. Miss J Testing. Why not? Create a password. Use the same password. And then I'm going to write down here what I did because otherwise you will forget. And you're going to need this to log into your account, right? So whatever your email is, I suggest you use something that you will remember because then you can use it for other things. It can be useful for you. So do something that you would remember and then the password as well that you remember. And write both of them down in a safe place. Like I have them in my notebook now. So we'll go next. All right, so I'm going to put my phone number here. And I don't need a recovery email. That's optional. I always use January 1st, 1992 for safety and rather not say. There you go. Next. Verify your phone. Make sure that it's yours. So you will need a phone. I have my phone here with me. You can use, um, you know, your parents phone just to get this started on Google. That's totally fine. Just ask them or your phone if you have a phone. Haha. <laughs> All right. So I got here my code. There we go. I'm going to say next. This is fine. And here we go. So now you have a Google account. And we're going to go to www.weebly.com. You're going to say sign up. Because it's a new account, right? So here I'm going to put my name. I'm going to put my email that I just created. And I'm going to pick a password. Again, pick a password that I know that's easy for me. Select the country and sign up. You can always save your password, make, you, make your um, computer save your password for you. So what kind of website do you want to create? Just in the website. So pick the first one. Um, go to portfolio, really. Pick anything that you like here on the portfolios. There's only seven. You can always change it later. So I'm going to pick this one here because it's kind of nice has, you know, you can add little images like this and you can add um, text on it. It's very clean. You can start with this theme and let's say you create one giant, beautiful um, artwork that you want to then make it your cover. You can change your theme later. Okay. So pick a theme. I'm going to pick this one. Click start editing. So select your domain name. Now this is where you're going to type something.weebly.com. So let's say missjtesting.weebly.com. I suggest you don't use your last name at all. If you want to use like, let's say if I put Angela here, there's a zillion Angelas out there. No one would know as long as you don't put anything else that is identified as you inside your website. Like don't mention your school, don't mention your city, don't mention your age. Be very, very careful with what you mention on your website. I'm putting just Miss J's testing, Miss J testing .com. Do a search. So when you get to this page, you're going to ignore this first section that says professional domain because this, this is the one that you need to pay. You want the one that is a subdomain, which is free with Weebly branding. So you're going to choose the subdomain, the subdomain one, this option. And 
off we go say done so here on the top I'm going to put Miss J portfolio and you can put anything here really but that's a good title right pretty decent title so here's home home is going to bring you here your about page you can have something about you like I'm not a lot right but I am a young artist young at heart so I'm a young artist and this is my portfolio just something about you that is not very descriptive you can't talk about yourself very much here but you can talk a little bit about your art i enjoy art and drawing very much that's pretty nondescript no one's gonna know who you are based on that um but they're gonna know about the portfolio right if you if they happen to find this portfolio they'll say oh okay i get it so enjoy my favorites types of art are surrealism and fun or quirky things all right so simple little blah okay so bottom line right you have all these images here these nine images you are eventually going to substitute them with your own images how do you do that so this is a very drag and drop system let's say you want the title here you can just drag title start typing here hello there you can make it central you can select it make it bigger smaller you can also change color make it green if you want um make it red so these are all the items that you can use to create your website the basic structure and have all these different options you can add a youtube video to your channel you can add all sorts of things to your channel just by dragging and then you know click on it put the youtube video url here and click outside and it should be there okay uh, we're not going to do that right now i want you guys to really explore this and figure it out say so you want to add another image you simply drag this here and now you can upload an image here so this can look really fun see how this now offset all the others this can look really fun even if they are all offset and fun and crazy and and that kind of thing that could be really nice this could be your portfolio right here you could also make different pages let's say you click on pages here you can add another page let's say you want to make a page standard page no header i usually don't use a header just put the title let's say you want to say drawing so now you have a page here click done you have a page for drawing if you look here on the on the tabs of your of your website drawing is now here right so you can move this a little higher so it's right after home so all your drawings then you can you could put here click on home it goes back to home page is a good navigator for when you're working so if you go to about see you're about here right um, i can change this by clicking on on this image and saying replace I can upload a photo from my computer. Um, I don't know. I'm going to upload one of these crazy things that I found. There we go. So I'm a young artist. This is my portfolio in jar. I'm drawing very much. Looks a little cool. Make this a little bit bigger. And why not? There you go. So that's your about. You can then go back here, go to drawing, and you're about to save there. If I go to drawing, you can change tabs to build and start building it. So put a title on, drawing. Make it in the center, right? Use dividers, you guys. Dividers are really nice. So this divider puts a line there. It looks very nice. You can also change this drawing size to be a little bit bigger there. And then you can use images to drag. Let's say I'm going to drag one. Oops two so you can make them side by side and you can organize them in columns that's how they did the front page for instance and here you can add let's just pretend i'm going to add some of these images again add one there add that one there and add that one over there there so you can add your drawings like this you can also 
move them. If let's say you want this one in the front, you can move them like that just by drag and drop. Just drag and drop everything. It's very nice. You can, you know, play with the slideshow, add a slideshow to it. You can do all sorts of things. I'll just be careful. As you move, see that little blue um, bar? That's where your things will show up. So if I dropped this now, I'm still holding. If I drop this now, my slideshow is going to be exactly below that one. So simple slideshow, continue, upload photos. I'm just going to make a real quick one just so I can show you guys. So I selected these photos, right? Um, I can also add more if like, eh, just forgot one, my goodness, that was such a good one, I forgot. Add more later, right? You can also close it, add more even later. Once you hit save, it's going to show up here now. So your slideshow will start playing automatically if you use slideshow, okay? What I like to do is go to advanced on the slideshow and turn off autoplay because I want people to be able to play the slideshow themselves. The thing is, see how tiny the slideshow is? usually you will want to make a bigger slideshow so beware of that little blue line as i wiggle my blue line it moves position right if i wanted to be really a big slideshow look at that size of that blue line it goes from one side to to the other right and i release it now upload photos i'll pick this one only just one i just want to show you so now the slideshow occupies the whole width of the of the page, right? Yeah, I'm gonna delete this one. Delete, delete this slideshow just by clicking on the side corner. See, finding the X. Okay, delete. Okay, so let's say you have this page here, right? Your drawing page, but you don't want it to show in here. You don't want it to show here at all. You want it to be a sub page. So you just drag, grab it, grab the page and drag it to the right until it ticks once. Tick. Now it's not going to be there anymore, but it is a sub page of your home page. Okay. So let's go back to home. Um, yeah, you can just, you can click on any of these and say replace image. You can also delete anything you're not using. Okay. It's quite quite neat. Now let's say, okay, I don't like, which is true, I don't, I don't like the font for this Miss J's portfolio. I don't like it. If you click on theme, you see that there's two options. One is changing the whole theme altogether, which I don't want to do right now. I like this theme, it's very clean. I like white. White makes the images pop, it's quite, quite nice. But I don't like the font. So, change fonts. Without touching, without clicking anything, if I slide my mouse down, different areas are going to highlight. So the site title, that's what I'm looking for. But any area can be changed. Look at this. If I go to Pages Drawing, and then I go back to Theme, Change Fonts, then it's going to show you Paragraph Title, for instance, right? I don't like that font for Paragraph Title either. So why don't we just change that now? Paragraph title, one thing that I would like is to make it bigger as soon as it starts. So I'm going to click it on 24. So you can change the size. What is it? What does what it start with, right? Mm. And then you can go here and change any font that you want that they have. I think I'm going to go this time with... Ooh, this is script. That looks lovely. I'm going to use that one. Go back. And I am here on site title, which is like, ugh, so ugly. What do we want? No, not Pacifico. Sophia, maybe Sophia. Now, one thing is uppercase is on. I'm going to turn it off. And this way. I can retype it in a nice size. I'll make it bigger like that and maybe not Sophia maybe marketing script no hmm Ooh. okay I like this one it complements the bottom one it's kind of interesting kind of looks cool why not so okay so we change the fonts you can do any kind of fonts also the color of the font can be changed I'm gonna leave the black for now but if I wanted to 
I go here and make it green or blue. That's actually very nice. I'll leave it. Okay, so that's your theme options. Apps, there's nothing really there that I can think of right now, but you can, you're welcome to come in here and um, take a look, right? Under settings, you can change your site title. Uh, you can also change your site description, add some meta words. Under settings, there are a lot of things here that basically you would have to pay to get access to. One of the things that I really like sometimes is adding a password to my site, but unfortunately that's a paid feature. So I would just leave the site as anonymous as you can. Um, talk about your art. You can put your first name on, but that's pretty much it, okay? Just keep it very, very anonymous. Now, I'm going to publish the site now. I'm going to click on this. It should go there right now. Let's see. Awesome. So, as you can see, it is not password protected, so the password protection is not going to work. So under settings, so that's apps. So I'm going to go back to pages because there's one more thing I want to show. So you have drawing here. I want to show how to make a button out of a picture. So let's say you have this picture and you want this picture to take people somewhere else. Like I can say click the image below. To go to a video. Let's say you want that. Right? You want people to click here so they can go to a YouTube video that is related to the image. Anything can become a button. You just have to click on it. See, I clicked on it. I'm going to add a link and you can add a website URL which is outside of Weepy. If you say standard page, this will link it to one of your pages on Weepy. Okay, so that's the difference between, um, oops link between website and standard. Okay, product page doesn't matter now. Block goes down and none of these. So these two are the ones that you're going to use a lot. Um okay so let's so I just copied a video from YouTube. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to click out. Once this is published, you can click on it and it will take it to the video. Same thing with anything, really anything that you have. Like if this, if you want this to be a link, you're just going to click on the link here and add um, a website or a standard page. For instance, if you want this to take it back to a different page, let's say for some crazy reason, you want it to take it to about. Just click on about, open new window, and now this is this is a link. So if we publish and we click on here, this is our website, right? You can go to about. This is what it looks like, and this is live now. If you go to drawing and you click on here, it will take you to a video. Why Avatar has the most iconic soundtrack of all time dun, dun. or if you click here on drawing 
it will take you to your about page. So anything can become a link, right? For you to continue editing, you just go back to Weebly, click here, and continue editing, adding, adding more content and everything, right? So, so that's it. One more thing I want to show you is how to make a blog page. So you're going to make a new page. Instead of picking standard, which is the one that you use the most, you're going to pick, pick one blog page. So click. I'm going to call it my blog. No header. And this is what it looks like. So my thoughts about my art journey. There. So my thoughts about my art journey, I'm going to say here, blog. All right. So this is it. Let's say you want to add a new post. You're going to go all the way to the bottom of the page here and you're going to add, click on new post. I'm going to add a post title. The good thing is it has dates on it and everything. Try a new technique today. This here, you guys, text, drag text. So I dragged the text over here and I'm going to now type. Today I tried a new technique with watercolors. So you can type what you learned here. You can keep track of your learning journey, which is super neat. You can also add images. Boom. So you can, again, click on it, drag a photo here, and um, make it more interesting, right? So I want to show you guys one of my blogs that I have, which has a lot of content. So this is one of the blogs that I created a while back in 2016. I haven't really updated it for a, for a while. This when, when I was in school, I was trying to keep track of all my learning. This is a little image that I created to be my top of my blog. And, um, and so here is my blog. It's kind of a longish blog. You don't have to write that much. If you write just a little bit like this, that'd be fine. So this is, this makes it a little more interesting, you know, writing about your learning. One thing I forgot to mention, once you're finished creating your blog, it's a good idea to go to blog settings and check out the comment default, which on mine is closed, make it requiring approval if you want to approve your comments. So what's going to happen is Weebly is going to send you an email on that email that you set up or your personal email every time somebody leaves a comment and you have to approve the comment because if somebody says your poopoo head or something weird like that, then you have um, the ability to not let that go public, right? So keep it professional, keep it clean. And so, yeah, definitely work with require approval. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is my blog. If you go and scroll down to the bottom, this is what people will see on your blog. And they can comment on it, putting their names on it, website, not really necessary, and any comments about what you have been doing. So this is what they are going to see. That's why it's important when you're building a blog to quick click coffee quickly. So that's why it's important when you're building your blog to click require approval. All right. So I think this is it, you guys. This is, there's a lot more to learn about Weebly. You can, def I love Weebly. Everything that all the websites that I've built so far have been Weebly for many years now, since I guess 2015. I used to use WordPress for a while. I tried doing some HTML. And this is for me, for a visual person, somebody that just wants to get that boring stuff done and make it pretty, it's my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give it a shot. Every couple of weeks, we should be seeing some blog posts from you guys. Um, I'm going to make it more clear on the website exactly what's the requirement, but I think you guys are going to like it. It's pretty cool. And it's a skill that you can take for the rest of your life. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this is helpful. I love you guys. I miss you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.